Hello, welcome to my next food vlog, Presto Pesto. So last month we made granola, this month it's July, it's summertime, and I'm obsessed with all the fresh summer vegetables. We are really spoiled here in Northeast Ohio because we have um, the Cuyahoga Valley National Park and in the National Park, we're the first park in the country to start a program called Countryside Conservancy. And what that is, is a program where farmers lease a lot of land that is in the park and they farm it with sustainable farming practices. So helping the environment, making the community healthier, really spoiled. One of the things we get from this fabulous farm share is tons of fresh basil, also garlic, which we need for our pesto. So um, this is really founded in fresh, local, organic, sustainable food. Love that. And you can also find these ingredients at your local grocery store, but look at your farmer's market first. Um, and then what you also need besides basil and garlic is olive oil, pine nuts or walnuts, depending on your preference, or you can do it nut free if nuts aren't good for your body or your taste buds. Um, Parmesan or Romano cheese, and sometimes I use the fancy stuff, get some Parmesan Reggiano, or I just use plain old Kraft Parmesan <laughs> grated Parmesan cheese. It honestly tastes just fine to me, and our kids go through a ton of pesto, especially in the winter, putting it on pasta. It's a, just a really easy meal to do that with a green salad um, is lovely. Then some salt and pepper, and that's it. Get yourself a cutting board and a knife and those ingredients. Um, look at the blog for the ingredient list and a picture of what you'll need. And uh, let me change camera angle so you can see what I'm doing here and we can make some pesto together. All right. All right, so here we roll. Super easy. Fresh basil. You wanna do about two cups, which honestly I've learned, not one nice big handful. Gives me a cup and I will have a little more than that, which I'm gonna do anyways. This is a recipe you can be very um, intuitive with. Once you know the basic measurements, you can kind of play with that a little. And since it's kind of hard to measure leafy greens, um, there's a little play in there anyways. So there's a bunch of basil. <laughs> I'm gonna pour in um, a little more than half a cup, but for two cups of basil, you would want to do about half a cup olive oil, about a third a cup of your pine nuts, and again, I'm just going to kind of guesstimate here and probably do a little more than that because I have a little more basil than that. Love pine nuts. So good. Keep those in the freezer after you open them. Then my Parmesan cheese, about a half a cup of the, that for your two cups of basil. And then I'm gonna just large chop my garlic. Get that out of the way so you can see. Um, because I've got the food processor, you do need the food processor to make this really easy or if you have a Vitamix. Um, I've heard stories of people being able to pull it off in a blender I don't know, the blender I have, I doubt would be able to do that. So I'm gonna put in my garlic. And salt and pepper. Just about an eighth of a teaspoon each, and then you can taste your pesto, and depending on your preference, do a little more. Give you a good shot here. All that in the food processor together. Put the lid on. It'll be loud for a moment here. Since I've got a big batch, I'm gonna just stir it around a little bit. Help it out. 
And I can tell, based on experience, that I need a little more oil. Now, I make tons of this in the summer. Get it a little finer um, I'll probably go back and still add a little more oil to that but you can taste it and also this is more mature basil so it starts to get a little a little um, tough and so I'll really take a little more time with blending it but you get the idea so pesto is typically used it's obviously an Italian maybe not so obviously but it's an Italian based sauce though it's a thick sauce so you just put like a tablespoon to um, a couple cups of pasta mix mix it in really good and then of course you can always add a little bit more or maybe you like a little less some other fun ways to use this is it's a concentrated you know spice bomb basically so you can put it in ice cube trays and pull it out to put it in soups, to put it in sauces. Um, when it's fresh and thawed, you can spread it on bruschetta with a slice of tomato and maybe a slice of mozzarella. Um, good stuff. And be creative. Food, yoga, life is a creative process. Find inspiration out there and then play with it and see what you enjoy, what nourishes you, what you love. Thank you for stopping by and let me know what you think. I would love to hear back from you and I hope you're enjoying your summer wherever you are. Join me back next month. Make some goodies together. Namaste.